The freaks have arrived at the university where they'll be performing tonight. We introduce all of you one by one. It's Ken. So Ken will go on. But their manager, Samantha, has a problem. University staff worry that they're exploiting people with disabilities. The show might not go on after all. A wax doll. They almost canceled the show on Monday because the disability needs people here at the university were concerned about us displaying freaks. So the people come up to us very uncomfortable. Do they mind that you're calling them freaks when they're, the freaks are here? No, they don't ask them. They have to ask us. People who have strong feelings about the way people who have disabilities should be treated might react in a very negative way towards freak shows. We get paternalistic. We're going to save them. Ready? And in fact, their <laughs> participation in this is a form of their expression of how to deal with uh, our culture and their situation. Two hours before scheduled curtain, the university decides to let the freak show go on. What makes this entertainment and not exploitation? I think there's a lot of humor involved, so you can go in and laugh with the people who are on stage. The tone of it is very different than it was at an earlier time. All the freaks have a role in the show. Deirdre, the dancing dwarf, takes part in a dangerous broken glass act. The audience, who paid $15 a ticket for tonight, seems to be warming to them. Backstage, Eric the Giant waits. Tonight, he debuts as a freak. And for the first time in his life, people will actually pay to stare at him. I definitely feel empowered just to hang out with other people that, that look different, that act different, that have to lead different lives. It was great fun. I had a blast. I want to do it again. Um, the people are great. It was just, it was a great spectacle for everybody. Everybody really enjoyed it and uh, it made me feel really good. people that homogenized society is not necessarily the norm. It reminds people that 10 fingers and 10 toes do not have to be the standard. It reminds us that there are many ways to look at life. If you're a person with disabilities, do you want to work at Goodwill? Do you want to be working for Salvation Army? Or do you want to be working for yourself, doing what you love with people who don't think you're a freak? I think that there's enough of a stigma, you know, to just walk around every day. And if someone has the, you know, the gumption or the balls, I dare say, to, you know, go up and, and, and do something with it, that's great. Why wouldn't I want to see that, you know? If I had, if I had a, something wrong with me, I definitely want to show it to everybody. <laughs>